Hey YouTube. It's time. It's time to have a chat. It's time to have a chat about who is the real, strange, and trippy. I've been trying to find him for a long time. Who's actually inside? Let's just start off with what my real name is. My real name is Sean David Neum. There. That's my real name. You can look it up. I don't care. It's public information. Um, I want to tell my, my story. I haven't really given you guys my story. And if I want to be a good YouTuber and a good person to the people that subscribe to me, to people that even watch me that don't subscribe, it's okay. I don't care. Like, I just want people to understand what, what I am and who I am. And I've been struggling with this, um, with all the negativity with everybody. Like, I'm not going to even get into that. This is the story of me. I grew up in a home that was split apart. My father left as left us at uh, at a young age. Uh, my parents divorced and split up. I never saw him for a while, and then he would show up here and there. This basically, guys is a little bit of therapy for me myself and like i said i want you guys to know where i'm at so as i said my father wasn't around as much as when when i was a kid like i said pop in here and there give you some toys everything's okay and then he, he'd disappear again for a while anyways enough of him for now so mother single mother, had no job, no money at the time, bounced between boyfriends and boyfriends, found her next husband, basically. I got up a phone call today with him. No names, no nothing with that, but like, he's struggling, he's an alcoholic. I had a 20 minute conversation with him about how he provided some things for us. Like we had a house or, or an apartment or we had some kind of shelter. He provided us with food. I can remember him coming home with cans of food that were dented or there was no label on it because he worked at a grocery store and we ate like that for a while. And so mom did her best with what she had and what we had at the time. And I've talked to my mother and she always thinks she didn't do enough for us. Well, she did what she could for us. Did we? <laughs> Moving on. That's my home life. Moving on from getting older and stuff like that. Moved out of the house when I was 18. Moved in with my grandparents, which was a great thing. Because I got to help them out and they helped me out because I, got, I had a place to stay. They were aging. They're still. Uh, my grandmother's still alive. She's still aging, and she still loves telling me that every time she sees me that she, I did a great job helping them, and she thanks me every time I see them. And I don't even ask for that. And I learned a lot of tools from my grandparents. 
and emotions. Moving on to the next phase of my life. Meeting Mrs. Trippy. <sighs> Mrs. Trippy. It's hard. This is life. This is me talking. I'm allowed to talk. I know she says to me to be careful because putting things out there could be damaging and stuff like that. I know that. But I want to do YouTube. I want to do this for you guys. So I want to know, I want you guys to know where I'm at. So. Met the love of my life. She came from a broken home as well. So we kind of connected. We really connected actually. Which was awesome. And it's still awesome. Because we had each other. We had the part that we didn't have from our parents. We had more like loving and caring. We're going to skip a little ahead a little farther. We'll get back to Mrs. Trippy. So. 2004. I was 24 years old, guys. No. 23 going on 24. And I joined the Canadian Forces. Canadian Army, basically. This, guys, you might remember him, or you might have seen him around. Pretty young, handsome guy. You probably can't see him with all that camouflage on. That was my basic training in 2004, guys. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of bad things with the military. I've seen a lot of bad things. I've seen, people, I've seen things that people should never see. I've done things people should never see. Or do. But this is what I was. This is what I turned into be. I turned into a soldier. And so this soldier, the first day when he got to basic training, he was told, drop your feelings at the door. There's no place for that. You're not allowed to have feelings here. These are honest words. They tell you to go stone cold. Because if you're not, you won't make it. I'm still here. Guess what I had to be? Stone cold. Like this fella. <clears throat> so... Went through basic training. I became a chef. I became a chef through the military. Had hardly any education. I've here and there. Made it through part of high school. It wasn't my kind of learning. My kind of learning is feeling things, touching things, and making things work. That's how I, I process things. That's how I've always processed things. This fella has seen a lot. I've seen a lot. I've helped a lot. You might remember Hurricane Katrina. 2005? Well, guess what, guys? That was my very first trip. Like, major deployment. To go for hurricane relief. I've seen things in Mississippi, down in Biloxi, that I don't want to ever see again. I'm not going to tell you all the things that I've seen down there, because that's not my place. I don't want to give you the nightmares that I have sometimes. Getting back to this fellow. The military did train him to be very coherent when it comes to people to basically people watch step back and observe so he did 
I did. I've seen some things that I don't like. And we're going to talk about those on my next video. But this fella here, guys, he also learned that there's no feelings. You have to turn off like a switch or to survive. That was his, that was him. That's not me anymore. But well, we'll get back to that as well. So, remember how I said Hurricane Katrina? Well, guys, this is HMCS Toronto. This was my very first ship. I served five years straight on this ship. You're only supposed to serve three. But they kept me because I was healthy. Maybe physically, not mentally. So, let's skip ahead a few more years. A few more years, more reliefs down in Haiti, pirate hunting off the coast of Africa. I'm just telling you, this is what I've been through. I did 10 years in the military, but it felt like a lot more because I lost a lot of time with my family, with emotions. This is my therapy, guys, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm not trying to bring everybody down, but that I, I have to explain who I am so you guys can understand where I'm coming from. Because sometimes with my PTSD, I get things jumbled up or I might say something that didn't sound right at the time or it did sound right at the time, but it doesn't sound right now. In my head, it might've sounded great, but when it came out, it might have been totally opposite. And it happens. And I'm sorry for that. But that's why you guys can always ask me a question. Write me a comment. I'll answer you. I'll answer you the best I can. And if I can get somebody else's opinion and hopefully give you some more light into it, I'll pass that information along. I want this channel to be for you guys to have fun and laugh and for me to actually grow. I stopped growing for a long time as a person because you're basically turned into a robot. So let's continue. Sorry guys. Last thing about that guy over there. I haven't, I haven't seen my dog tags in a very long time. I haven't worn them because I was sad about this, what this young man had to go through. I wasn't proud that I had to do things, but now I realize, yes, I had to do those things, but I learned a lot of things and I'm glad Mom, I learned a lot of those things. Because now those things are coming out as I'm trying to put my life back together, basically. And I hope you guys understand that. So enough of this. He's over here. That's in the past. Okay. Moving on. I struggle. You struggle. We all struggle. Some people struggle with addictions. Some people struggle with alcohol or not any. See, I'm getting all flustered. This is the same thing. I know. Sorry. But like, we all have addictions. And some people call them passions. And it all depends on how you treat that. How you use it. If you use it in a negative way, yes, that's an addiction. And I've had my addictions. I, like, 
I don't need to go through them, but like we all struggle through addictions. It doesn't matter. It could be simple little ones. It could be anything. It just depends on how you use them. Like I said, it could be an addiction or it could be a passion. Who has the right to tell anybody that they have to understand it themselves, right? <clears throat> Getting off topic. Sorry, guys. Dry. I know this is a long one. I'm sorry. We're getting through this. Please hang in there. I want to do this. So then you guys just know what I'm about, who I am. And if you have any questions, please ask me. That's what I'm trying to open up. I'm trying to open up the conversation between my subscribers and anybody else out there. Just talk to me. Ask questions. Ask questions to other channels, okay? That's all I'm asking, please. Anyways, still off topic. I have another video for that one, guys. <clears throat> this is my family. Mrs. Trippy, Little Trippy, myself, Oliver. This is what I'm doing YouTube for, guys. My family. For myself. I started this back in January when I was pretty low. Because I didn't have a purpose. I have a purpose, yes, guys. I have a loving family. I'm a loving father. I want to be a loving husband. Sometimes it's hard. We all struggle with it. It's nothing to be scared about, to talk about, guys. We can't run away from these problems. So, back to this. This is where I'm at. This is my family. This channel helps me with my family. I get to practice what I'm learning in my counseling. I get to practice this, what I'm learning with my doctors. I get to practice it with you guys. You're like a sounding board for me. So maybe I well, put something out into the world and then you'll bounce it back at me. And that's great because then I know I have to learn from that. And I want to learn for these guys. This is my therapy. I'm gonna say it more than once. This is my therapy. Some people like to journal. Some people like getting massages. I like getting chiropractor. I like to get cracked. It makes me feel good. I go to the gym now. Again, right? It makes me feel better. I want you guys to know that I am getting better. With the help with you guys. Because you're helping me. You're helping me understand different problems, different things, different takes on things that I wouldn't register. My brain is fight or flight. And guess what? It's been on fight for a long time. I don't want to flight either. I want the in between. That's all I'm trying to say, guys. This is strange and trippy. This is Sean David meme. I wanted to put this out there so you guys understand who I am and what I struggle with. I don't have to tell you all my struggles, but you, you have to know that we all struggle. I struggle. But I'm honest about it. And I'm trying to be more honest about it every day. I hid it for a long time that I was sick. Because I didn't want people knowing that I was sick. Humans are like that. It shows that you're weak. And then the bigger ones will take over. Because you're showing weakness. It, it's in everybody's head. It's built into us. This is me. And 
I hope you guys understand. Like I said, if you don't, please, guys, please, please, please message me. Ask me questions. Don't block me when I, I have a question. That's all I'm asking. It's just to be heard. I've been told what to do for 20 some years of my life. And I'm tired of it. I want to do what I want to do now. And I want to do this for you guys. I'm having a great time. But sometimes this stuff brings me down. It's all a balance, guys. It's all powers. I hate the word bully. It's about good and evil, basically. It's about negative powers and positive powers. Like, that's all it is, guys. Getting off topic again. Guys, if you ever want to know more about my life, more about my family, I'm here. I'd like to know more about you guys, honestly. Like, all we know from each other right here, right now, on YouTube, is Strange Trippy. That's all you know. You don't know my backstory. You don't know who I am. But I'm going to give you what I can give you. This is me. Just trying to be a YouTuber. Just trying to have fun. <laughs> and be a little strange and trippy. That's all. So, guys, leave you on a positive note. This is going to get bigger. And I hope we get stronger. I didn't even expect one subscriber. Well, one subscriber, maybe my daughter, maybe two, my mother. To have this many subscribers... It's crazy. I I never understood that. Like, it feels great. I've never have felt so much love in my life. But guys, it's all up to you guys. What you believe in, what you guys want to watch. This is me. This is me talking to you. Just talk. Just talk to me. That's how you get rid of misunderstandings. And, guys, please check out the next video. The next video, guys, I'm just going to lead into it. This is my final take on a situation that's bringing me down. And I don't want to be brought down anymore. I want to be exciting, be happy, be strange, be trippy, be whatever I want to be. Because that's me. I can do whatever I want to be. Great. So, guys, if you want to know more, please ask. And, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.